Hey guys, this is Brian, and uh, I wanted to talk today about something that I think every drummer should probably do every once in a while, and that's clean your cymbals. Um, you know, as you play your cymbals, obviously you're going to get lots of stick marks and a lot of other uh, things from your sticks on your cymbals, but something that you probably don't realize is how much perspiration and uh, other impurities end up on your cymbals and they can start to really hinder the sound and it's a little hard to see here but you know the top of my of my quick beats here is a little rough I've got a lot of just a lot of stuff on here probably perspiration mostly uh, and all kinds of other impurities from playing you know hundreds of gigs and things like that so you want to do this if you can really every six months or so um, sooner if it's possible but I'm gonna preface this with saying that this is kind of a pain in the butt it is not as easy as you would want it to be but it's fairly easy to get yourself set up and start cleaning um, need your symbol of course and then a rag or something to put it on top of so that you don't get symbol cleaner everywhere and then you need the most important part your symbol cleaner uh, I'm using buckaroo symbol cleaner um, it's a it's a really great symbol cleaner that's uh, been around forever and ever and um, you can get this at pretty much any music store and uh, so you want to get yourself a can of this or something else buckaroo is interesting because it comes in these in this sort of wad of material and it smells kinda like varnish so when you open it up you know if you're sensitive to scents you may want to do this outside or probably you want to do this no matter what honestly in some place that's well ventilated um, but you know make sure it's you're well ventilated with a window open or outside or something like that because this stuff is pretty pungent and then you just kinda gotta leap into starting to clean your cymbals uh, you want to rip off a piece of the wadding I've got a piece here and I've been using it a little bit and um, as you can see and this is all stuff that's come off my symbol off of another one I was cleaning so you can see how quickly this adds up so you know you want to just rip off a piece doesn't need to be too big in fact if it's small it might be easier for you to work and then all you're gonna do is take that piece of wadding and you're just gonna start working away on the symbol and I'll show you that and you know I find that I like to start from usually the inner bell and move out towards towards the edge of the symbol and just really give it some pressure you know if you're if you're doing hi-hats you can probably give it a little more pressure or maybe a ride something like that if you're doing uh, thin crashes you know then you're gonna probably want to be a little lighter on them but just make sure you know that you use some pressure because really like I say this is gonna take a lot of work and this is also something that you know symbols are made to get hit so they're gonna be able to deal with a little pressure on them so we're just gonna do a little bit here I'm not gonna do the whole thing because you know you guys will be able to do that at home but you know I can feel already and you can see I mean here's all of this grime coming off so it really adds up really fast, you know? Um, and you're gonna wanna do multiple passes, more than likely. And then what you need to do is just take a rag. You can see this one's nice and dirty. <laughs> just take something that's, that's you know, you're not gonna care about, really, and start cleaning off your cymbal cleaner. And you can see already there's a difference here between this, where it's a lot rougher, and here where it's a lot more smooth and that's just with a little bit of buffing you know that's not much but that's enough that I can I can already start to see the difference in some tarnish that's here and here where it's it's nice and smooth so you know like I say this is a really important thing because with what all this tarnish on your symbol will also do is it will affect the sound you know if you have buildup on the metal it can't it can't, you know, reverberate the way that it needs to. It can't transfer sound, whether it be from the bell out or from the edge in as well, because all that gunk is going to keep the cymbal from moving the way that it needs to. So if you take that gunk off, you'll find that the sound of your cymbal will probably be a lot brighter 
and uh, your tone is going to start coming through uh, in much more measurable terms. So, you know, again, take some time doing this because it's going to take a lot of time. This does not move fast, and just when you think that you've wiped off all of your cymbal cleaner, you're going to find that there's probably more you can get. And when you're dealing with lathe cymbals, you know, where you have lots and lots and lots and lots of ridges, that's going to take a while because you're going to find that you have to move and use your fingernail and really dig in and get all the tarnish and all of the cleaner out from in between there. But, you know, again, like I say, it makes a really big difference in your cymbal in the long run. And, uh, Give it a try, pick up some cymbal cleaner, and see if you guys find that this makes a difference in your sound. Hopefully it does. I'm, uh, I'm Brian Botkiller. Thank you guys so much for checking out my videos, and uh, I'll be seeing you next time. Please feel free to get in touch with me with questions if you've got them. Take care.